Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we are scarifying and aerating this lawn that we did two years ago. Let's go take a look. Guys, if you like these videos, please smash the like button and please click on the subscribe button below for more videos like this. So we came here a couple of years ago and scarified and aerated. Um, today we've come to do the same. The grass is quite long, so we're gonna have to cut it first and just get it all nice and short, which will make your life a bit easier. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna get a mow on. Now, when it comes to scarifying and aerating, you can do it both ways. And let me tell you my thoughts and reasoning for doing it both ways. If you're gonna be seeding, my opinion, you should scarify first and then aerate, and then you create a good seed bed with the holes nicely opened up to accept the seeds. If you are just scarifying and aerating, you can do them either way. But I wouldn't aerate first if there's a lot of thatch and a lot of moss because your machine won't be pushing down as deep as it could because it's got to get past all that thatch first. So your wheels are actually running on top of the thatch, which means that your aeration tines don't go down quite as deep. So you should always scarify first if it's thick and then aerate at ground level. So you're penetrating down as deep as you can into the ground. So let me show you what we've got today. So we've got the Holotine aerator, mower, trimmer, blower, leaf rake, leaf grabbers, and scarifier. And somewhere over there, we've got lots of tum bags and black bags. So this is the back lawn. We, we did film this, we had a video on this um, from a couple of years ago. And if I can find it, I'll pop it in the description or I'll pop it somewhere up on screen about now. Um, but yeah, it isn't, as we're walking over, there's bits of moss in there. We're obviously not going to be going over these bulbs, so we tend to go round in a circle. <clears throat> but again, in shaded areas, you can see that the moss is a bit more prolific. So hopefully it won't be quite as bad. Now the other issue we've got with this lawn is ant mounds. There are several of them and we're going to be, going to be coming across them. So we'll just cross that bridge. Right, time to get started. So I've mowed these just to let them dry out a bit first before we get the scarifier on. So the back's had half an hour to dry out, 20 minutes, whatever it took. It was really long and it was struggling. Um, probably could, should have gone over a couple of times on a higher setting and worked down, but I just sunk it to the bottom and went through it. Um, it's gonna get stressed anyway, so it's gonna be recovering from the stress of scarifying and aerating. So I wasn't too worried about stressing it out with a shortcut. Not ideal, nothing's ideal. Ideal would have been 
customer mowing it in the in the weeks running up to this and then getting it down to a nice short piece so there's plenty of strength in there so it, it recovers easier but it is where it is anyway we filled a ton bag wet grass and there you go so i'm going to get around the back um and i'm going to start seeing if we can scurry <coughs> so i'm going to see if we can scarify an air eight or air eight and scarify having walked upon it it doesn't seem as thick as what it first looked so i reckon we can air eight first and then run the scarifier over we're going to be able to get deep enough there is a bit of moss but i can feel the soil underneath so it's not actually as bad as i thought it was considering it was two week, two years since we did it last so yeah so i'll get the aerator We'll aerate the lawns and then we'll get the scarifier. We'll go with the scarifier to scarify the lawns, get it all cleared up, tidy up, and then we're done. tell you spring is here it's definitely here so it's aerated completely well it's pulled the cords out it's left some good holes as you can just see the holes across the lawn there so that's helping drainage so it doesn't stay as wet and obviously when it's wet that encourages moss so we're getting a stronger grass plant as a result. So I'm going to go and aerate the front and then we will um, get the scarifier out and we'll get everything cleared up. I want to show you the aerator. So you've got your wheels down there and there's a shaft going across and then there's tines sticking up off of the shaft. See if we can get in and show you a bit closer. So whatever machine you've got you need to clean the wheels and anything that runs along the ground because there's nothing worse than soil which sticks to pavements, paths, etc. So now we're moving on to the scarify machine. If you haven't got a machine like this, these are around £500. You can buy a less aggressive machine from the likes of Screwfix, Lidl, etc. Even on Amazon there are some scarifiers for around £100, sometimes a bit less. Um, and they're okay, they've got little metal spokes which will rake the ground. This is a more aggressive machine because there are blades which spin round. Let me try and show you. So if you can see in there that are the blades that spin round and they rake the grass more aggressively and get more thatch out quicker so your budget determines the speed of which you get the job done and also the aggressiveness you can also be careful um, with a, a machine like this just going steady with it and still get a good result without being too uh, messy so I'm basically going to start around the edges and I'm just going to work up and down and then we'll see how much has come out. I may have to go across again 
a second time at a 45 degree to try and thin out as much thatch as possible again we're not overseeding on this lawn it's just a scarify and aerate two things you should do every single year to your lawn so i'm going to crack on it's time to get the shades on We'll just get that cleared up now and then we'll go over it again on a 45 if it needs it. Okay, so so that is on the lightest setting on the scarifier. If I go in deep and aggressive, it's going to rip more grass out, and I, I would be quicker. But it's all about keeping them long-term relationships with your customer, keeping them happy, which means not destroying the lawn too much. So, just going to rake them into piles, get them bagged up, and then we'll more than likely go over again, but I'll have a look at the end. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live in your so there's the back lawn, scarified and aerated, and a mow to tidy up. So it's actually had two mows aeration and scarification. Now you can see these humps here where there are ant mounds. Um, the best thing to do really is just to get a spade, dig it off and then reseed it. So you've got a nice flat and there's a number of ant mounds in this garden. One, two, three, four, to be fair they're dotted around. Um, so I've discussed a few options with the customer and moving forwards. But overall it doesn't look too bad, it's neat. It looks a mess but it is neat and with water and sun they should be fully recovered in around six to eight weeks but that doesn't look too bad and i think that's acceptable considering what we've done right it's just the front to do so just to show you the front before we get the scarify going you can 
can see all the cores which came out and all the holes. Again, there's a fair bit of moss. Let's crack on. I need a little bit of Okay, that is it. We're done. This only needed to be scarified once. It actually came out a lot easier. And I can remember last time I came here, it was exactly the same. I dropped it down onto a heavier setting and it all came out. And I've had a good walk over and there's literally no thatch or very little thatch left in this lawn. So I've just done the one pass and um, we've run over with the mower, just put some stripes in. Six to eight weeks, all back to normal. It's going to perform so much better. So guys, thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Please smash that subscribe button down there. We'll see you on the next video.